Who was the first American president? Almost everyone would answer George Washington, and for really good reasons. His face is on Rushmore, he's in history textbooks everywhere, he is the definition of a leader. But if you Google what years Washington served, you'll see the year 1789 to 1797. 1789 is the year the Constitution was ratified, but the American Revolution scholars will know that before the Constitution, the Union of Colonies enacted another ruling document, the Articles of Confederation. These were a set of articles that attempted to govern the new nation, but they honestly didn't function that well. The President's term was one year long, and he didn't have much power. Wait. If Washington was the first president under the Constitution, and the Articles of Confederation were before the Constitution, and the Articles required a president, that means there were presidents before Washington. Well, sort of. Eight men served as presidents under the Articles, all before Washington. But the term president meant something quite different. Like said before, the term was just one year, and while the president signed off on official documents, there was no executive branch, so being the president just meant having a higher seat in Congress. The first of these men was John Hansen, a delegate from Maryland. He served as one term and made Thanksgiving a holiday. He created the treasury, the seal of the president, and more. It's amazing what he did in one year, but was he the first president? Most scholars would argue that because of the true meaning of the term president under the articles, Hansen or any of the other eight wouldn't count as presidents. But you can decide for yourself. Who was the first president of the United States?